Hey everybody, Paul Dietz, Paul Dietz Horsemanship, and a fella was out yesterday riding and had a good idea. He kind of wanted some things. He doesn't own a horse. He was riding one of our lesson horses. And to get more proficient at home, he lost his horse a few months back. But one good exercise that you can do is practice building that coil, either from the left hand or the right hand and being able to shift that back and forth. Here the coil comes out the front of my palm and as I shift that over, now the coil's towards the back of my palm. So I'm just simply handing that loop over. But it's so important because as I bend my horse, I wanna be able to draw on that ring. I don't always wanna pull on them and leverage them. I wanna be able to draw that rein down so that I can get short on either rein. So if the flexion is to the right, say I'm leg yielding left or I'm taking the hindquarters left, the flexion is to the right. I want to draw that rein because my leading rein is my outside rein. And we will show this again on a horse, but it's important to be able to do that and then be able to drop your coil and get long and then pick it back up. There's lots of different ways. You can take a twist in it, grabbing the X and I have one, switch it back over. Again, sometimes riding, I might pick it up and lay it over and just get proficient at getting a coil. But likewise, I wanted to talk about the ability of your hands and to stay wide. So if I stop my horse here and my reins are say at this angle to his mouth, well, if the horse keeps going and I keep my hands the same place, now the angle, if my horse is out there and I pull back, is straighter. And I wanna have that angle such that as he's pushing, if he's pushing and my hands get more narrow, it wants to pinch the snaffle bit together. So I want to hold that snaffle bit wide so that it's shaped over the tongue and the tongue can be a barrier protecting the bony part of his jaw and not creating pain and not poking the roof of his mouth. Now, some people will get the little dog bone in there so and it doesn't pinch as bad, but it doesn't give you any account for having good hands. So when that horse stops, if he keeps pushing, my hands are gonna go out so that I'm keeping that snaffle spread on the corners of his mouth and over his tongue and not on the heavy piece of his bone of his, of his jaw creating pain. Because we all know it's not really comfortable. You don't wanna get soft whenever you're facing pain. So anyways, I hope this little tidbit help, helps you a little bit. If it does, remember, like and hit that subscribe button and it really does help us if you share it and get the word out. Happy trails, enjoy the journey.